Good morning, Teammate 5. I miss you guys. Happy remote learning day number 19. I think it's our second to last as social studies curriculum anyway. We're going to be doing a few things together as a team um, next week and the week after. I'm losing track of time. But I miss you guys as always, and it's gorgeous. What a gorgeous week we've had. Um, I went golfing last night. It was so good to be out with a few people in golf. We kept our social distance. We had one person in each cart, went straight home afterwards, but it was fun. I hope you're enjoying this weather too. So let's see. Um, you're going to be looking at that online museum again today or over the weekend or Monday. It'll be due Monday night. Um, and you're gonna look at three more exhibits and just write me a short paragraph. Um, I decided to talk about some shocking statistics from the Holocaust and try to fathom these numbers. If you think of fractions, two thirds of Jewish people living in Europe at the time of World War II were killed. Two thirds, two out of every three Jewish people. That's, that's staggering. 11 million people total were killed during the Holocaust, 11 million. And this one makes me cry, they all make me cry, but 1.1 million of those people were children. Children, 1.1 million. Six million of those were Jewish people. Other groups targeted, we've talked about this before, uh, were Jehovah's Witnesses, homosexuals, disabled people, the Roma, and there were other categories more detailed, but that's your basics. So last year when I taught this for the first time, I really thought, what is 11 million? How many is 11 million? 11 million people killed. So here's some numbers that might you might relate with. 95 kids on our team. Team 85 has about 95 kids. There's about 550 kids at our school. Picture us at an assembly. 550 kids, probably about 620 when all our staff is in there too. Maybe 630. Okay, picture all those people. The population of Derry is approximate, but about 34,000 people. And Derry's kind of big, I think. If you ever have been or watched the Patriots, I have my six time champion Patriots hat on. Um, if you've ever been to Gillette, it holds 65,878 people. And when you're there, that's a lot of people, 65,878. And we're trying to picture 11 million. The population of Boston, 695,000. We're not even at 1 million yet. Population of New Hampshire, we finally hit 1 million. 1 million, sorry, 1 million, 360,000. Ah, I'm terrible with numbers. 1.36 million people live in New Hampshire. That was a 2019 number. And I finally found a bigger million that you could relate to, 14,810,001 people reside in New England. I'm that one person, or you're that one person. <laughs> but there you go. That's a little bit of numbers that you could relate to to try and get to 11 million. Now, last year we watched this documentary with our kids, and I wish we were together so desperately um, it's about a small middle school in rural Whitwell, Tennessee. I'm not making fun of them. I love Southern accents. Uh, they did this awesome project. The teachers there too were doing a unit on the Holocaust uh, way back in 2004, I believe. And they started collecting. They all, like one little student said to a teacher, teacher, how many is 6 million? I can't even fathom 6 million. And the teacher's like, yeah, it's hard. So they decided to collect 6 million paper clips. And you know what? I'll tell you what. If you want to find this documentary, I tried to find it for free to give you the link, 
I couldn't find it anywhere for free, but I found it on Vudu, which I'd never heard of, and it was $2. I think it's on Netflix and YouTube, YouTube um, for $2.99, but maybe you can find it free. You're way better at this stuff than I am, but it's called Paper Clips, and you type in documentary, and you know, if it's about this Tennessee school, then you've got the right one. If you want to watch that documentary, you will cry. Um, you can watch the documentary and write me a paragraph summary on the Google form and not go to the museum website. So you've got some choices there. Um, I want to show you, even the trailer makes me cry, but I wanted to at least show you the trailer in case some of you don't watch it, you have an idea about this project. I hope you can hear it. Our There's somebody kayaking behind me. What happens when prejudice goes unchecked? We're a community of 1,600 people. We really have no diversity. The Ku Klux Klan was founded only about 100 miles away. One of the hardest things for them to comprehend was that Hitler murdered 6 million Jewish people. A student said, what is 6 million? I've never seen 6 million. In the 1940s, people were paper clips to represent the people who were in the Holocaust at that time. And we all said, this is the idea. We began in the school. Can we write letters to some people and see if they'll send us some paper clips? Spread to a town. The whole community is involved in it. That Todd's paper clip is in memory of my grandfather. 25,000 pieces of the name. Something's going on over here across the nation. I'm sending you one paper clip. We have some from Tom Hanks, Phil Cosby, former President Bush. And throughout the world, paper clips is coming in by the millions. They're all addressed to Anne. This is Anne I don't think it had ever occurred to them that there were people in this world who never knew their grandparents. I was in Auschwitz for three years, and I'm glad I can come and talk to you nice people. If we have made such a big difference, think what the rest of the world can do if they try. I wish the whole world was like you are. It's me every time. So, if you want to watch paper clips, sit down even with your whole family. It's it's an amazing documentary. So my song of the day is another sad one um, by a man named Josh Groban. I'm sure you've heard of him. He has the most angelic voice, one of my favorite voices of all time. I saw him in Manchester. In fact, the picture that you see to the right is the Manchester concert, and he wore a Manchester Monarch shirt. And I saw him with my mother and my sister, and it was a special concert. Um, my favorite song by him is You Raise Me Up, and it goes like this. When I am down, and oh, my soul so weary. When troubles come, and my heart burdened be. I am still, I wait here still in silence until you come and sit a while with me you raise me up so i can stand on mountains you raise me up to walk on stormy seas i am strong when i am on your shoulders you raise me up to more than I can be. Let me show you, Josh. He really can sing this. And you know what he does, you guys? He's like Godsmack. He invites middle school choruses, high school bands, you know, kids who play the violin to play at his concerts. In fact, when we went to Manchester concert, I think it might have been Bedford. I can't remember which school it was, but he invited a school to do this song with him. Here you go. I am stuck when I 
blaze me up to more than I can be. So, brilliant singer. Um, that concert was in Los Angeles. I probably should have tried to find the one in Manchester. Anyway, you guys, happy Friday. Happy weekend. Get out and exercise. I miss you. I love you. And you guys raise me up. We will be together again. I promise. Even if it's next year, I promise. I miss you.